Hello, Cancer, my darlings, and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. Let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. They're panicky. They're watching you like a hawk, and they're losing, they're falling into a depression because you're getting away. <sighs> yeah, you're getting away. I feel like this person needs to get their strength up. Um, right now, they're very panicked, okay, because... The more they watch you, the more they want to be around you. But they're also seeing that, you know, with every minute, you're getting further and further away from this person. And, I mean, this is somebody who's doing a lot of crying. They're heartbroken. Heartbroken, sorrowful, and bereaved. This is suffering a huge loss, you know, because they feel like this is over. And they had you, they had you at one point collective and, and it was like a dream and they let it go. They let it go. Okay. Um, now they're in a, they're just going, sinking further and further into a depression. I'm seeing the word numb on the card. So this person could be numbing. Yeah. Here, happiness wanted to come out and then be, you know, on top of it, their hands are tied. Their hands are tied. What's behind it? Yeah, they could be with somebody else who's um, watching over them, angry. This could be the karmic here. And you're getting away, and they're in love with you. I'm telling you, they're in love with you, collective. They're really sad that, they're, that you're, um, this to me is like the fool card. You're having a new journey. You're making bold moves. Um, very confident, very self-assured, right? Extremely high vibing. That's where they're getting, that's why they're watching you. All of your um, high vibes, this person like absorbs when they watch you, okay? Um, I don't know what you're doing. You could be doing something online, posting pictures, or you could even have, um, you know, another platform out here on YouTube. But whatever it is that you're putting out there, this person constantly watches you. They like you're being watched as as often as they can when they're not being watched by this person. Okay, this is somebody very bitter, very resentful, and I feel like. Um, your person underneath it all they want their happiness and they know it's you you are the key to this person's happiness and they know it but as long as they're in this dark energy with with this toxic feminine energy their hands they feel like their hands are tied yeah man that's the energy right now. But the way that they're panic and the fact that they just, I mean, this is a deep, dark depression here over losing you. This person is clearly in love with you. They're in love with you, collective. Uh, but the way that this panic is out here, I feel like um, it says uh, fight or flight, right? Um, one, they're drowning in their emotions right now. Very, very emotional. You could be dealing with the water sign. Uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I've got Leo out here and Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Yeah. Anyway, I, I feel like um, it's getting ready to pop. Like this person, this energy, it's getting ready to break. I really do feel that this person, this person is breaking. They're falling apart. They're ready to break. There's a lot of fighting going on wherever they are. And I feel like, um, I feel like this person, maybe they, they wanted to work on things with this, um, with this resentful. I feel like too, there's a couple different scenarios I'm picking up on. Sorry. First of all, I feel like they tried to work it out with this resentful feminine energy, okay? I feel like it's a karmic at this point. But um, they're fighting about money, maybe, or a job. And I'm also feeling like they could even be talking, like collaborating with um, a friend or something. How do I get released from this karmic? That's... That, that's both the feelings I'm getting. They tried to put effort into the situation. It's not working. Your person is not happy. 
Because you're leaving the scene. I'm telling you. Because you're leaving. I feel like there's a lot of fighting. This this uh, karmic, dark feminine energy, um, she's competing with you. Just feels like... Um, and that's making it even worse. Because I feel like at this point, there's there's no competition here, really. You're moving forward into an abundant new cycle. You've healed. You're happy. You're confident. Making boss moves. This person is in love with you, too. And this dark karmic energy, they know it. They know it. I feel like somebody wants to come forward to or towards you for a commitment. Clarify this Ten of Pentacles for me. They may be trying to commit with this person, and I feel like this person doesn't want to. This masculine. Man, the, I feel like these karmics, whoever this dark and this dark feminine is, they're trapped in their mind about you. I feel like they they're they're completely obsessed about you. Because your masculine wants a new beginning. And they, they, you know, their situation just is not the same. Your person is walking around feeling like this, uh, depressed, numb, empty, withdrawn, sour, sorrow, <laughs> sorrowful, heartbroken, in a lot of pain, walking around crying, hanging their head down low. You know what? These karmics, I, I feel like... Your connection was bound to ruin their connection anyway. I, I have to, that's a feeling that I'm getting because you know what? Um, this person just, once they found you, they no longer wanted this karmic. And, and this, this masculine, the longer they stay in that situation that they don't really want, the worse it gets. So basically, these karmics are hanging on to somebody that isn't even vibrating at, you know, at the same level. They're hanging on to somebody who doesn't even want to be there anymore, and they know it. They know it. I feel like they're trying to find a way to commit with this person if they're not already committed, okay? They're, yeah, it's all, they, these karmics are angry because they feel that this that their connection was literally stolen from them by you but you don't you're not doing anything to these people you're moving forward you're saying goodbye and i feel like the reason is is because you know karmic situations aren't supposed to last forever they're only supposed to teach a lesson and then people elevate and learn their lessons and move forward right they're trying to hang on to something that isn't even really for them. I feel like this is a twin flame soulmate connection here. This could be your divine masculine. You could be a divine feminine. Um, possibly Gemini energy too. Aquarius I've got out here. Libra. Or, or sorry. Um, Leo Aries Sagittarius energy. And I feel like this is if this is a divine connection... You were meant for this divine masculine, and they were supposed to be for you as well. So these karmics are hanging on to something that really isn't for them, okay? It's for you. Now, if it's a commitment, you could be considered the other person, but this is a connection that's actually for you. All right, and these karmics are getting resentful. They feel like that. Oh, what was once maybe a good connection was stolen from them. But you didn't steal anything, okay? You've been focusing on yourself and your own path. Um, and you're, this masculine, though, without you, they keep getting further and further in, into a depression, further more and more heartbroken by the day. And they're not even acting like themselves anymore. Like this is a, this, these masculines, this person here, they're walking around sad, mopey, um, crying. These karmics could even catch this person crying. They don't seem to care. They just want to hang on and hang on because they're competing. You know, they just want to win at all costs. What exactly 
comics. What exactly are you winning here? What's the prize? A masculine energy who's depleted, who loves somebody else? What kind of prize is that? And that's exactly what these karmics are doing. Okay, at least this one. And your, your person gets more and more panicky, wanting to reach out. They get more and more uh, sad, heartbroken by the minute. They're just not even the same person that they used to be. You know what I'm saying? They're not even acting the same in that situation. And the karmics just, they don't know what to do about it. Um, so, yeah. I feel like it's just sad for everyone. Yeah, this is coming to an end, though, with death. So, something new can begin. I feel like, um, yeah, something's over. For, I feel like these karmic situations are about to be over. And then, I feel like new love is coming in here. Your person is going to want another start with you. I feel like, yeah, they're starting to boss up here a little bit with the Emperor energy, wanting to make a decision. They can't, I'm telling you, they can't handle this energy much longer. They can't. I feel this person wanting to come towards you here. You know, yeah, they want their, they want their Ten of Cups. This could be a father figure who's maybe... Like, they don't know what they should do, right? Because there could be children involved. They could be feeling bad for the kids. Going back maybe on some fond memories of the situation. Um, I But I still see this coming to an end. So that this blessing and love can can be shared between the both of you. I mean, and here they're looking right at this Ten of Cups. That's looking into the future here in this placement. So they may not even know if they still have a chance, but um, I, I actually really feel like this person's about to boss up and decide and come forward. All right, what else can you show me? Because this is a soulmate connection that was supposed to be. Okay, yeah, here's them taking a leap of faith. Yeah, even though they don't know what their chances are, they don't know how you're going to react. They don't know if you're going to talk to them or not. They don't know if you're going to be upset. They don't know what to expect out of this communication. I feel like this person is still coming forward. I could see this as something being hidden. But, um, no, what I'm really feeling like here is this person's about to come forward, just not knowing what to expect. All right, what else can you show me here? You could be dealing with the Taurus, Aries, Virgo, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, yeah. Yeah, because they see you as the one... You know, this person may be wondering, you know, who, for some of you, this person is wondering, who do I choose? Who's going to bring me to happiness, right? I feel like they know. It's the one they left behind is the one that they want. They're feeling like a fool. You're the one who would be considered wifey. But then again, this person may share a family with this resentful dark uh, feminine energy. Yeah, see, you're the one that they want, though, man. They're feeling like a fool for leaving you behind in the first place because now they're seeing how abundant you are, what kind of abundant new future you, you've got that you're stepping into here. But you're a divine feminine, okay? And this person, they were supposed to step up to the plate and become the emperor here. I, I feel like they, they are... But um, they're coming to you feeling like a fool, okay? Yeah. You have been paying attention, just focused on you. That's what you've been doing, is just focusing on you and building your abundance and your stability and your security and listening to the messages you're getting from the divine and moving forward step by step, level by level in your life, okay? So you're not even really a part of this. 
but that's not how this um this other karmic energy here that's not how they feel about it they feel like like they're in like they're somehow competing with you but they do not want to let go of this masculine i'll tell you that they're trying to keep them bound and stuck this this karmic may make your masculine feel powerless unable to move I feel like this masculine's just getting sick of it. Emperor energy, right? Yeah. I there I feel like this person's also very worried that you've got new love coming in. I see literally and there you do have new love coming in here. We've got a page of pentacles and knight of cups. And this person over here who's going to be awesome, I actually see three separate energies here coming towards you. Ooh, yeah, because you're the empress. Because you are the empress, high priestess. Yeah, so you are about to get new people coming towards you here. So get ready. Get ready, because they're literally lining up. I mean, if you look at it the way I am, they're lining up to get to the empress. Okay? And I feel like this person is... At least they're energetically trying to keep people away from you. They could even know who these people are. Um, yeah, they don't want anybody coming towards you. That It makes them feel very defensive. Because they do, like I said, they see you as the one that they love and their wish that's getting away. And they're watching you. That Like, they could be watching tarot card readings, right? Say they're watching this reading. And they hear that their Divine Feminine has three people approaching them, wanting to choose them, wanting to get to know them, give them love offers. You literally have people lining up for you. Say they hear that. This, I'm telling you, this person gets really freaking panicky. And they're watching everything that you do, just so you know. But yeah, you could be out here dating. I feel like you're just kind of like, you don't need anybody in this energy, right? Um, you could be living a, a life of kind of a very comfortable life right now. Um, a life of luxury even for some. And um, with a high priestess, you're int extremely intuitive. You haven't been talking to anybody yet. Some, somebody's there's, there's people lining up to come towards you to date, I'm telling you. And your person knows about it. Feel like you've got your boundaries up. I don't think you're really interested in dating right now. It's really what it feels like with the high priestess and strength. You you may already have had other people up try to approach you. And honestly, you're just so focused on yourself and where it is that you're going in your future. You're not really focused on love right now, but I feel like that's why pe all these people are lining up. How to get an empress, you know what I mean? Because you're extremely abundant. You could be a boss, business owner. You got nine pentacles here. The most you can have in the deck is ten. At the tenth pentacle, you've got yourself a commitment. So, um, yeah, this person knows that too. You are the, you are the catch and people are lining up. I'm telling you. I think I might name it that, actually. Okay, these fell on the floor. Yeah, look, and look what came out in reverse. In reverse, guys, the Queen of Swords and all of the time that this person spent on the Queen of Swords energy, okay? I feel like this Queen of Swords is angry, really ticked off, because your person just doesn't want to put forth the effort into it anymore. They really don't. I feel like they tried that year after year after year. They could have been in this situation for up to six or seven years. And this Queen of Swords now, she feels so betrayed because your person's just not, they don't care. They're walking around like they don't care. They're crying. They don't care. You know what I mean? She's wanting revenge. I feel like um, this is somebody who is very vengeful, very resentful. Here's that bitter karmic, I'm telling you. Very mean, harsh, cold communication with your person. May even be trying to sabotage them and betray them. Yeah, this is coming down. Your person doesn't want to work on it anymore. They want you. They want their empress and they want to get to you. That's, this is why they're panicky. 
they know other people are lining up for this for the prize right the empress and they want to get to you before anybody else does this is something that drives this person crazy yeah look at this and so this karmic individual who has been watching stalking competing with you um this person may even want to come and talk to you say something to you i'm seeing this sword being held up like she's ready to go you know and this is somebody who wants revenge and your person is kind of like protecting you right now holding this person back defending themselves on this here's the thing they also they want this new beginning this one wand here stands for the ace of wands they want this new beginning and they may have to battle like other people in the family in the community friends that kind of thing but they're standing their ground here this is somebody i'm telling you this masculine is starting to boss up or that's what's going to happen that's what's going to happen because their tower is coming down I feel like the this Queen of Swords dark feminine energy has just done too much. I feel like um, there's been too much of a feeling of competition in this connection. She's very resentful because she feels like that connection she once had was stolen from her by you. And you're out here succeeding on your own. You're completely independent. This could be somebody who's very codependent. Okay, very immature. I mean, she, this person gets kind of wild, okay, um, once she gets upset. And I feel like so this, this masculine is defending themselves. This, is a, this could be actually a big fight here, guys. This could end up being a big fight. But that karmic situation is coming down. The masculine has changed. Um, they've absorbed your high vibing energy and they want they want you. They, they love you. It's not... Uh, even if this karmic were to hold on to this person, like I was saying, what exactly are they winning here? Because they're going to end up with a, a masculine who's depleted and constantly heartbroken and crying and not satisfied. And I feel like you're already out. You, oops, sorry. Sorry, that was my phone. Um, yeah. And I feel like um, maybe it's just because of my ringtone, this karmic could have even been trying to pretend to be like you, imitating, right? Yeah, it's just not... The, the, both of these individuals just aren't the same and they're not they're not for each other um you could be dealing yeah see you could be dealing with a, a cancer or a capricorn i'm really getting the feeling like somebody is leaving this situation i i, I they are they're on their way out with the chariot here and as soon as they step away from this toxicity i feel like they're gonna be having a victory a yeah, major one this tower's coming down, and I feel like somebody's leaving. All right, what else can you show me here for the collective? Is there anything else? So they're leaving, and I feel like they're going to be barreling straight to you, collective, okay? Before anybody else gets you. And I also feel like I had this... Uh, the seven of swords in this there's been lies there's been betrayal there could have been cheating in this situation it's just become toxic because this karmic individual just wants to win at all costs give me one more for the collective please give me one more for the collective you could be dealing did i say a cancer or a capricorn Scorpios out here. Um, this dark feminine energy could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Yeah, I feel like it's, look, this has been a long wait. Your person doesn't even know if you have any feelings for them left. They've been standing here up to three years trying to make this decision. Three years or longer 
I feel like they were working on something here um, for up to seven years, maybe, in this karmic situation. But I feel like they, you guys have not been, been in communication for up to three years. But this person does know what they want. And I feel like as they stand here, they're like, well, I don't know how this is going to go. I don't know. Um, I don't know if the collective feels anything for me anymore. But um, I feel like this person's getting ready to get in their chariot here and travel to you. I, I have to say it. It's, it's happening. All right. What does this person want to say to the collective? I cheated you out of real love. I ghosted you because of my own insecurities. The distance between us is killing me. I long to hear your beautiful voice again. Yeah, this could be a long distance connection. They may have to travel. I still feel connected to you, but I've waited too long to reach out. What did I just say? I've waited too long, too long to reach out. Is it too late for us? This is their main worry. How are you going to react to this communication, right? It's been too long. I keep track of you from afar by looking you up online. Yep, that's this up here. They're watching you as, as often as they can because it makes them feel good. All right, so what else? can? And they're uh, fascinated by whatever it is that you're doing, okay? They could be learning something spiritual from you as well because I see you as being a spiritual being here, divine feminine. I fantasize about getting a second chance with you. You are my best friend, and I cherished you above all others. I am grateful for the spiritual lesson. What did I just say? <laughs> all right. That's a big confirmation, guys. Yeah, so I feel like you're very intuitive, connected to the divine. As this person watches you, they learn from you, okay? And honestly, they look, this person's in love with you. They don't want you slipping away. You've got people now lined up ready to date you, and they want to reach you before it's too late. But they've got to break free from a karmic situation that, it, that they don't want anymore. Okay? And this is somebody who's breaking free. They're breaking free. They break free right here. They leave the scene. They leave away from this karmic situation. So, yeah, and then they stand here and wonder, um, because of how long it took them to reach out, is it too late? So get ready, Collective, because this person's about to come in and communicate with you. They do not want you getting away. 